Alright guys, hey, welcome to the video and today I'm going to show you how to host your own 505 exploit files on your PC and on your phone. Now this is assuming that you have already permanently enabled the web browser on your PS4 and you're able to type in a URL and you know you can go to whatever URL you want or whatever and you are on 505. Now if you have not unlocked or perma enabled your PS4 browser then you're going to need to do that and you're going to have to go through the user guide to do it and I posted up the user guide method I actually did two videos I did the first one that's the actual tutorial and then I did a bonus one uh, with a different DNS uh, server that you can go to so I'll link both of those in the description of this video so for those of you who are new and maybe wondering what the benefits are, what the pros are to running these files yourself, as opposed to um, them, you know, being hosted on a, a server and you getting them from there. I went ahead and wrote uh, a few pros down here, and also one of the major cons. You can go ahead and pause the video and read them if you like or you could go down in the description I'll go ahead and list everything there but in the interest of saving time let's go ahead and move on to the PC portion of the tutorial alright so down in the description will be a zip file download link which has my exploit uh, playground in it go ahead and download it extract the folder from that zip file and for now you could put it here on your desktop the 505 KMZ exploit then I will put a link that will bring you here to the MiniWeb HTTP server. Now some of you who follow my PS3 tutorials in the past may actually have some of these things already installed in your system. If you do, great, just follow along. I'm going to show you two methods using your PC to host these files. The first one being the MiniWeb server. So go ahead and download it. When you do, it'll be a zip file. You can extract the folder from there and when you extract it, you will have the miniweb.exe and the htdocs. Go into htdocs, you can delete everything that's there, keep the default.css file, and I would keep the favicon.ico file, but you really don't need to, but I do anyway, so you should have only those two. Now you can go here into my KMZ exploit playground folder, and you can literally just copy everything from here, and then paste it on to here the htdocs folder that we're in okay and then that's pretty much all you have to do all right so once you've done all that you can go ahead and close the folder that has my exploit let's go back out here to miniweb.exe and launch it and you should see a little window popping up here uh, sometimes you might have to run it as an administrator to get it to work right um, here you will notice it says host and there will be an IP address right here along with the port number. That's what we need to type into our PS4's web browser. And so let's go there. Okay, and I'm just going to let this load. And let's go up into the URL. I'm going to erase all this junk. Let's go, whoops. Make sure you type in uh, the HTTP portion of it all right and I'm going to do this mine is already set up here I know this one's a little bit different let me put the 8000 port okay now I want you to see something I'm, I'm going to press R2 and then as soon as I press R2 watch what happens here in the window you're going to see a bunch of activity and then watch when the um, exploit pops up so here we go okay I'm going to press R2 right now and there we go so it happened relatively quick actually it took like maybe about a second a second and a half and everything is already up I can go here and start messing with stuff let me just click on this part here since it doesn't do anything um, it's just some information okay so you can see that uh, that it works right so if we go here and we actually click if we go into HTD H T docs and we actually click the index.html you will see here that it pops up on our um, PC's browser as well. We can click on this one because it doesn't do anything and it's the same thing that I clicked on on the PS4. So you can see that it's all working. When you're done you can just close the window. Alright, so that's 
that. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next method of hosting files on your PC, at least the one I use, uh, involves a Chrome extension, which actually is an app. And again, some of you may be familiar with this from some of my past videos. It's the Chrome Web Server. You can type that in your Google search and it should come up here. Just go to it. And uh, when you do, you can go ahead. For some reason, my PC is working really slow. I think I have a lot of stuff going at once. Anyway, uh, you're going to click install here. Mine is already installed, so it just says launch. Yours will say install. You can see it has a really high rating. Go ahead and install it. And when you're done installing, it will be located here in the apps section of your browser. Click on it. And then there it is, web server. Now, once you click on it and open it, you don't have to have um, Chrome up and running. You can actually close it like I am there and it will still function. Now whenever you make changes to it, I suggest you turn it off here like I'm doing. First we're going to point it to the folder that has whatever exploit uh, files you are going to use. In this case we're using my 505 KMZ exploit as an example. So here's the folder right there. Once it's highlighted, and I've already done it before, so once it's highlighted I'm just going to click OK. I'm not going to go into any of the subfolders or anything all right and so there it is that part is done make sure this matches so the first third and uh, sixth boxes should all be checked then we're going to go into the show advanced settings everything here should be empty except the plain static files view that one should be checkmarked once you've made those changes let's go ahead and turn it back on when you do, you may get a couple or three or so um, uh, IP addresses here. Obviously, the 127.001 is your home. We're not going to use that, but it will be one of the other two. Uh, in my case, it's the second one here, so we're going to use that one. Let's go back into the browser here in the PS4. And uh, let's go back to the URL. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this junk. Once again, we are going to put in our HTTP, like so. Let's do 192. Luckily, everything is already there because I've typed it before. And there we go. I've already used this one before, and so it happens to be there. Now I'm going to press R2 and watch how quickly, see that? It comes up. So, yeah. And again, we can go ahead and click on something here just so you can see that it works. All right. And we are good to go. And whenever you're done with this, you could just hit X to turn it off. So let's move on to the phone. All right, guys, so here we have my phone is up and running. So let's go ahead and start setting everything up this way. First, let me go ahead and I'm going to put my folder somewhere on my phone. And you can put it anywhere you want. I usually put these in my downloads folder so you can see... Um, there is nothing there except just a few files. So let's go ahead and I'm going to open up FileZilla. And then I'm going to back out here. And there's FileZilla. It's, uh, all right, it's open there. And let's move this over. I'm going to go ahead and make an FTP connection. All right, and I already have that in my FileZilla here. Right, I'm going to go into device. I'm going to go into my downloads folder. There are those three files. And I'm just going to send my whole exploit playground folder there. Okay, so you can see it's transferring. It shouldn't take long. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and close FileZilla up. And we can go ahead and stop this now. And let's go back. Now when we go into downloads, there we go. The exploit folder is there. Okay. So let's move on to the next step. All right. So now let's go ahead and the next thing you're going to have to do is install an app to serve these files. I use Simple HTTP Server. I've been using it since last year. It has a pretty high rating. Uh, it's free. And I don't think there's very many ads. I don't know if I've seen even any at all. If there are some, it's very few. It's also very light on resources. But again, you can use anything you want that you like. All right, so let's go ahead. And I already have it installed. 
and I have it open here. Okay, when you first open it, it'll look something like this. Now I already have my IP addresses on there. Yours may just have one, of course, or, or none until you set it up. Okay, so we're gonna go into settings and then we are going to go into index HTML. You're gonna make sure you turn that on, that way it reads the uh, index file. Then we're gonna go here and we're gonna point it to the folder. Now I just installed my KMZ exploit folder. You have two locations here, which kind of are a little bit confusing because you don't know what they are, but one is your SD card, the other is your internal storage. In this case, the zero was my internal storage, so click on it. Then we are going to click download because that's where I put the folder. And now we're going to click on the exploit folder. It's right there. Okay, and that's it. Here is, I don't need to click on exploits. This is telling me that it's using the 505 KMZ exploit folder, okay? So I'm fine with that, with what it says up here. I'm gonna hit okay. And now there we go. That's the folder it is going to use. And then there's other, you know, settings and stuff you can mess with later on. So let's go ahead and let's go back to main. Okay, and now there's one little quirk here. Uh, this button tells you the state that the app is currently in. So right now the app is not working. It's off, so it's telling you that it's off. Now you don't see an on button, but the on button is actually the off button. So when you click on it, it will turn it on. So let's click on it. See, it's on. There's a little green bar and um, the little notification that's telling you that it's on is also up here at the top of the phone. Now the IP here of the server is this one here at the end. That's where we're going to type into our PS4 URL. So let's go there. Again, we are going to delete all this stuff. So let's hit R2 and let's see how fast this connects. You're going to see activity here as soon as I press R2. And remember, this is done on my phone. The PS4 is connected with a LAN cable to the router, but the phone is, of course, via Wi-Fi. So let's see. I'm going to press R2 right now. All right, and there we go. Look at how quick that was. So you can see here made the request and then it popped up. Let's go ahead and click on the file so you can see that it's working. And there we go, okay. And let me go back. I'm actually, let me go ahead and activate the hen, the Vortex hen on the PS4. Now see, sometimes you have to do this multiple times, but It should work. There we go. Done. And the hen is active. That's it, guys. That's all you have to do. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time.